Years of writing honky tonk and rockabilly songs, uh, lo and behold, my guardian angel inspired this next song. The great band Alabama recorded it. I know we got some Alabama fans here in Alabama. I wrote this song with Don Goodman, and uh, how many of y'all believe there are angels among us? This is for you. I was walking home from school on a cold winter day. Took a shortcut through the woods, and I lost my way. And it was getting late, and I was scared and alone. Then a kind old man took my hand and led me home. standing there but I knew when my heart he was the answer to my prayer oh I believe there are angels among us sent down to us from somewhere up above song of mine that Garth Brooks recorded. I wrote it for my mother 
she was a big band singer in the 40s and 50s and was a big influence on me. In fact, she encouraged me to live my dream of being a singer-songwriter. And when I recovered from non-Hodgkin's lymphoma 15 years ago, um, thank you well. <laughs> God and grace and lots of prayers and, and good medicine too. But um, I wanted to honor her with a song to thank her for uh, a tribute, to thank her for everything she, she meant to me and done for me. So I recorded it for my Tangerine Moon CD and at that time Garth Brooks was his mother was going through cancer treatment, and she had been a big, uh, not a big band singer, but a, a country singer, kind of a western swing singer. She was great. She was on Capitol Records also in uh, the 50s, I think, or the 60s. And she had always encouraged Garth's dreams, and uh, he did pretty good. <laughs> so uh, I let him hear this song, and he was already finished with the Double Live album, but he wanted to include this song as a tribute to his mom on the album, and it was the first and only single off of the album. And he did a beautiful video for it as well. So both of our moms got to hear it before they went on to sing in the heavenly choir. I'm going to sing it for you now. It's called It's Your Song. Standing in the spotlight on such a perfect night Knowing that you're out there listening I remember a time When I was so afraid Didn't think I had the courage To stand up on the stage But you reached into my heart And you found the melody If there ever was somebody Who made me believe in It was your song that made me sing It was your voice that gave me wings It was your light that shined Guiding my heart to find This place where I belong It was your song Every night I pray before the music starts to play I'll do my best and I won't let you down After all the time I've been here This feeling feels brand new Anytime I doubt myself I think of you Cause it was your song that made me sing It was your voice that gave me wings It was your life shined, guiding my heart to find this place where I belong. It was your song. Dreams can come true when there's a take us home with you tonight, it's entirely possible. <laughs> They're normally $15, but for this very special Florabama audience, $14.99. <laughs> or two for $25, but $24.99 for you. And we'll sign it anything. We have signed everything. <laughs> 
Uh, this is on my Donald Trump's hair album, and uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, this song is actually inspired by my ex-husband, Bubba, who had the idiot. He was uh, unbelievable. Said to me 20 years ago when I was married to him, when I was checking out my new jeans. I'm just looking at my butt in the mirror going, not bad. And that was like 25 pounds ago, you know. And he said out loud, you know something, Kaisen, you're starting to get a little wide on the backside. <laughs> Did I mention he was an inch and a half shorter than me? <laughs> so I said, well, you know something, Bubba? I can always get skinny, but you'll never be tall. <laughs> and the songwriter would be saying, yes! <laughs> and here it is. Whoa. <laughs> I was primping in the bathroom mirror this morning while you were shaving your short little back. I made the mistake of asking you, honey, does this moo moo make me look fat? You said, they don't call it a moo moo for nothing. You know, moo moo, like a cow. For a guy so teeny winky, you can be a big old me. It's time to take the gloves off now. Cause I can always get skinny. Slap on a girdle and make my big butt small. I can pop those diet pills by the pack, but honey, there's no Viagra for the inches you lack. Dare you call me pudgy, you stubby little runt. I'll never stoop that low. You petty little pint sized pipsqueak pig me. I'm very sensitive, you know. You said, please don't blubber, my poor sign little princess. You know, blubber, as in whale. You think you're really funny, but let me tell you, honey, you're forgetting one small detail. Cause I can always get skinny, but you never be tall. I can leave a hostess thing dogs, but you'll still be small. A single inch. I can always be skinny, but you never be tall. Your one saving grace is you're tall in all the right places. In spite of your Napoleon complex, you still bring home the big paychecks. But remember, darling. So let's stop all this fussing, baby. Come on and drive me to the mall. Bring your booster seat so you can see over the wheel. When we stroll through Macy's, you can borrow my high heel. You can ride the horsey, my manly munchkin mail. Hey, look over there, it's a liposuction sale. That's what I'm talking about.